Hello my soccer universe to the next end of the year video on my soccer universe and this time it's really mine because we're looking at my year of collecting jerseys this year where I pick my favorites in the end which is always a really 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 tough task to be honest. However before we get into it a few stats this year 74 new shirts have entered the collection I think around five have actually left it selling exchanging and so on I don't have the exact number on that 74 is down from 77 last year and 78 the year before so I'm getting better however not enough let's put it that way as well I want to go maybe to 2020 levels where it was around 50 or so let's see how this will go but that's a beginning of the year video uh, of the 74 shirts, 60 were club shirts and only 14 were national teams, which makes sense. There was not really a big national team competition. Yes, the Women's World Cup, but that I was kind of unfortunately a little bit on a lower level for me. Um, of the teams that have entered the collection, there were 22 new teams, 22 new club teams and two new national teams. So that is also quite cool uh, for those some of those I have doubled, like Stade Reims or Leeds. Some of them, there's only one jersey. The new national teams are Bosnia and Herzegovina and Romania. So uh, that's also cool. Most jerseys are bought from on the club side. I have five new Lusk jerseys and I have five new Milan jerseys. Here is one of the new Lusk jerseys. It was actually in consideration for the top countdown, but never quite made it. As for brands, the most the three brands on number three was Nike with nine new jerseys, seven for um, clubs, two for national teams, Puma 12, yes, seven club, five of which were Milan, five national teams, three of which were Austria shirts, we see which are the national team shirts that I got most of this year. And then a number one Adidas with 17 new Adidas jerseys, 10 club seven national teams so uh kind of interesting also I have, I have to say for adidas it's 15 different teams the only doubles were feyenoord and leeds united so there you go so we are ready for the countdown i have all the jerseys prepared here and I said it in my Christmas unpacking, it is pretty clear what is number one. So let's not waste time. The top jersey and then we're going from the back has to be the match one Giroud jersey from the previous season, 10th of February. He scored in this jersey against Torino. So we can put this already up on the number one spot. Okay, with that out of, out of the way, first five jerseys, not in order, that just didn't make the cut for one reason or another. Uh, it, it's actually in the order that I got them to my collection. And in the top 10, there are no national teams. However, there were three national team jerseys that always would have made the cut. The first one of these is this Italy 96 home jersey, which I really like and have worn a lot this year. That's probably the most useful national team jersey buy that I had this year, which is this uh, Spain World Cup 22 jersey. Yeah, Spain won the Nations League wearing this one and the uh, Spanish women won the World Cup in that one. So, was really, really useful. I was wearing this actually quite, quite a lot. It's a cool shirt. Now, the next one should have made the countdown, but there are various factors why I actually bumped it out of the top 10, which is the Argentina World Cup winning jersey with Messi, the two stars, there's the L, I have the patches that still need me to but I didn't have the time to do that yet. The reason it is not in the top 10 is A, it is just an L, which might actually add some value and not an XL, uh, but even more so that, meanwhile, I know I've overpaid, I mean, on classic football shows not too long ago, you could have bought it in, for the relatively reasonable price all over. So while I think if I would have made this list six months ago, this would have been in the top five. Now I think it has a little bit, teeny bit lost its appeal, teeny bit. It's still very special, it's still a World Cup winning jersey, don't get me wrong. It was in college consideration, but there's a few shirts that I felt a little bit more better about. And so yeah, this it's not in the top 10. 
And then two club jerseys that did not make the top 10. The one is this beautiful Rayo jersey. Simple reason, I have another rainbow jersey in the countdown that I actually like better, but this one was a true find on uh, Wilhelm. Very pleased with that, with, 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 with that one. I, I absolutely love it. And the last one that did not make it was a jersey that I saw it. I did not plan on getting it. I saw it on Kappa on sale no-brainer this is just too beautiful to not get into it so yeah those are five jerseys that did not make the countdown let's start number 10 it's a jersey that many of you will not like but i actually really adore it this is also one that falls into the category never thought i will have this in my collection it's this Wonderfully awful Braga jersey with the Roman soldier on it uh, that I bought at the beginning of the year. Uh, I like it. It is something different. It is odd. It is weird. And yes, not all the jerseys in this counter will have kind of these dull colors. It's just a cool jersey in a way. It's in at number 10. It will not make even the wall because we have 8 here and then I want to keep 5 for later right here. A player issue shirt. It's this Fiorentina jersey uh, from the past season. I really like the design with the bold V. Yes, the new crest. Uh, I actually don't dislike it, but I really thought this is a really bold design. Uh, one of Fiorentina did well, and also Fiorentina jerseys have become sort of a guilty pleasure of mine. Um, I had the choice when I bought this, shall I get the new in the, um, you know, basic version or about the same price I could get the player version of this one. This one was the stronger look and I'm, I'm really happy that I got this one. Uh, it's even triple XL so it actually fits me quite fine. We are into the top eight and those are the jerseys that go actually on the wall and at number eight believe it or not it is the 1819 inter jersey uh why a um it was one of those things that i didn't mention when it was the semi-finals i said okay i don't have many manchester city shirts i don't have many inter shirts and in short distance i found two vapor knits on Wilhelm for really reasonable prices um, and for this inter shirt, I was not even aware that this is a way on it. I just saw, ah, this is a really nice uh, shirt. But the details, first of all, the way that the holes are cut into the way way on it are really cool. I really like the crest, but I also like the overall design with the snakeskin pattern on there. It's definitely a standout shirt. It's also a double XL, so it's a little bit looser. Not really fond of wearing an inter jersey, but hey, if I need to uh, uh, for a video, I may I would have worn it so far. I have not really worn it, but it's a really beautiful shirt also that is strapped on the back and on the front. Really, really adds something. But yeah, a weapon knit jersey uh, for a really, really reasonable price for a team. One of the teams of the year. I think it's a... It's overall a winner. Let's get this interfeel off <laughs> here. How to do it, of course, with a Milan jersey. Actually, number um, seven are two Milan jerseys. However, I, I will have to pick one for, for the counter. It's these two brilliant jerseys that my buddy Idris helped me get it was already in 22 however due to postal delays and so on it took forever for them to come um i have the home jersey i have now the third jersey i already had the away jersey from the title winning season and both of them got printed that's why it also took so long um Giroud and tonali are actually the one that i want to choose is not the home jersey a we have already Giroud up there but b i think that the third jersey is the little bit more special one uh yes it doesn't have the crest here but i actually think milan's version is really really cool and yes tonal is a little bit disgraced for now but hey what a sale for milan that was and i really really love the shirt all over it's a beautiful shirt and yes that's what we have on number seven just realized number eight was not even in the picture, so a little bit I want to give credit to Inter, but it's all Milan for now. Yeah, there are not too many Milan sure, uh, shirts coming, but it has a very Italian feel. 
this top uh, 10 in a way. The next one is again not an Italian shirt, it's number 6. And it's actually a very special shirt. It's not necessarily a pretty shirt, uh, but it's a special shirt because this was only available season ticket holders for Lusk and I found this earlier this year. It's from the 17-18 season, this golden third jersey from Lusk. This is from the first season back. I think only worn in two games against Austria Vienna, one they lost, one they won. Uh, but yeah, because it's so special, uh, I also, I'm pretty sure I know why it's golden because of the main sponsor and the golden logos and there's also a fade in there. I just like the audacity of it. Yes, too many sponsors. Uh, but I like the audacity of it, of having gold, but also because it is kind of a rare Lusk jersey and in that sense, of the more recent ones in that sense. I think it's a really cool pickup. The three shirts that I showed you from 8 to 6 were all double XL by the by the way, which is another thing. I got quite a lot of uh, oversized jer uh, jerseys, which I find also interesting. In the number 5 is a jersey that if I would have just seen like that, would not have put on the list for sure. However, once I held, held it in my hands, it fascinated me so much. I even made a video about this shirt. And it is also a story uh, through my buddy Matt this year. I got quite a few nice shirts. This is one of them. It's this beautiful Werder Bremen jersey from the 21-22 season when they were in the second league. Um, as I said, I made an entire video about it. There are so many lovely details. Like this, it's a plain jersey. If you look up close, you see already there's a whole lot going on. It's a brilliant shirt. And yeah, it breaks up a little bit the Italianness of this entire countdown. We are already on number four. And number four is probably one of the overall shirts of the season in the sense of what it meant for uh, the wider soccer world, but especially in Italy. It's also, if it wasn't for Giroud, my most expensive buy of the season. It is the Napoli home shirt, another triple XL. <laughs> I bought it off Amazon. Uh, yeah, Amazon is a sleeve sponsor. The moment I saw it, I knew I wanted to have that one. And I was always eyeing the more basic version that was cheaper. However, um, yeah, these sold out under the nose. And then I had the option, do I get an L for that or um, do I buy the full version? And this was basically the first buy that I bought with a paycheck from YouTube. And also, again, my wife encouraging me. And yeah, I paid unfortunately full price. I really would like to put a patch on it. And also Kratzhelia would be really nice to have here on the back to make it even more special. But again, this would cost a lot of money. And also, you know, I don't at the moment really have the means to apply this. And I would like to have this done professionally uh, well. But it's a beautiful shirt. Uh, it doesn't even come across. I mean, the sleeves, the, the shirt lifts off the sleeves. That is the most beautiful part, part of it. And it's not your typical Napoli design. I think this season's shirts are way more Napoli or my idea of Napoli than they are. But the other thing that really sticks out and uh, is if you come closer, the many Napoli crests that are imprinted on that one. I also find it interesting how the sponsor has like little holes in there to add with the breathability. Some really cool stuff in there. Um, as I said, one of the most special shirts and yes, Second time around, EA7 got it right. They had a very distinctive look. And so, yeah, this is in at number four. We're coming to number three. And number three is a shirt I'm really proud of because the, I saw it. I knew I wanted it. I felt that I can get it for cheaper because the team were actually not doing that well. And I remember waiting for it. I was looking at it every day, every day, and suddenly the price dropped. That's 
when I bought it. And it's a shirt that I have been wearing proudly a few times. It also fit uh, very nice with an office theme that we had. It's the special jersey from Stuttgart with the rainbow colors across and the overall chrome effect here on the Mercedes logo, the Stuttgart logo. It's all rainbowy and so on. And I find the rainbow pen. They had uh, two years ago, they had a white one um, with the rainbow, which also looked really nice. But I have to say on the black, the rainbow comes across even nicer. It's a beautiful, beautiful shirt. And like the Bremen shirt, there are so many details from Stuttgart on the shirt that elevate it. I actually would like to have the corresponding home jersey as well, which is basically uh, white and here you have red, uh, so classic Stuttgart colors. Uh, but you know, it's not a top priority in a way, but uh, these were really nice shirts and I have to say the rainbow jersey topped it off. I got it as a black. I also like how this wraps around on the back. It's really, 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 really a cool shirt. <music> And we're at number two. At number two is one of the shirts of 2020-23. Also one that I didn't necessarily expect to get. However, um, once I had the opportunity, I was eyeing it and I also received the report from my wife. Uh, the support of the report, the support of my wife for getting it. And she also liked it a whole lot. And it's this Venezia third jersey from this season that I said it already in the other video, it is inspired by the gondoliere. You see here the whole story behind it. It's just a gorgeous shirt. Yes, it's not Venezia colors, but the gold, the navy, the red and the white, and then especially the long sleeves. And I love long sleeves for hooped jer uh, jerseys. There's just something really, really special about it. It's an absolutely gorgeous shirt that I'm very, very, very happy to have added, although again, like many of the others, I paid full price for that. But hey, if you have a special shirt, you gotta go for it. Now, in principle, the countdown is done and these are kind of the top eight shirts uh, that I got. However, there is one thing I wanna do and since I didn't have a real number one, I wanna make a special number one because there are five potentially six jerseys in here that are extra special to me and us beyond categorization, but you can take them for the number one spot. And these are the jerseys that have been gifted to me by friends slash subscribers to the channel, which is always something that I, I can never, never take for granted because this generosity is just uh, un, in a way unfathomable to me. And so again, with no particular order, these are my number one jerseys five of which, and then potentially a sixth one, which was kind of also a gift, but not really. Uh, we'll talk about that as well. I keep for last because it will not make the wall, but here are the gifts, all of them special. And as I said, beyond cat categorization, actually all of them really nice jerseys in themselves. We have first the Scotland jersey from 2020 gifted to me by Andy in reply of me surprising him with a shirt as well really really proud of that one it's a very very beautiful jersey it's so beautiful that i actually didn't go for the scotland 150th anniversary shirt go figure then from a body met i know once that he uh was making a video on the shirts that he has and i told him there's one particular shirt that if he ever wants to get rid of i might get into and he comes back to me it's yours we're talking this PSV 2019-20 away jersey, completely out of the blue, he gifted it to me. Brilliant shirt, brilliant shirt. For a simple reason, Lask played against them in this shirt and beat the hell out of PSV. What makes it even better is that it has a name set and it has the Europa League patches. Brilliant, absolutely brilliant shirt. Thank you so much, Matt, for gifting me this one. The next two came totally out of the blue and yes, pun intended in a way. Subscriber Dave contacted me. He has two shirts that he has no need use for. Where I want to have them, of course I want. I got an Everton shirt and I got a Nottingham Forest shirt. This one I badly needed and this one is actually really nice that it's my Everton shirt for the season. Uh, this one I think is 1819, this one is 2223. 
really love the details on it and yeah very very pleased with these two so thank you Dave for these two shirts and the last proper gift goes back again to Andy and Andy not only thank you for giving me the Scotland shirt gifting me but also of your team the Queen of the South really simple yet beautiful shirt I really like the detail with the an old team in there um, that's one I'm wearing actually on occasion at home it's because it's a little bit different and I absolutely love it so thank you Andy for this one as well and let's end this video on a bum note because it's the fun of it yes I have a sort of gift shirt as well let me show you and it fits nicely because I've shown you here my favorite shirts of the year this one it's probably my least favorite one, uh, just from a design point of view. However, one that I've worn quite frequently. And it's sort of a gift, sort of not. It's the one jersey that came with my season tickets for LUSK. This beauty with the yellow sleeves. It has actually quite some nice features, so, but yeah. I, when I signed up, I thought we can choose the jersey, then I realized, nah, there's a reason why so many LUSK fans run around with the yellow sleeves because these come with the, with the season ticket and so yeah they can claim it's the best seller not really it's not the prettiest shirt although I really like the design pull it in the white sleeves and we're talking in any case I hope you enjoyed this recap of my collecting this year let, let me know how your collection went this year. How many shirts did you add? Or are you like me, more into the ration, uh, you know, trying to rationalize but not really achieving it? <laughs> this is, I think, the story for me this year. Uh, what are your priced, most priced jerseys that you have added? Drop a line in the comments below. In any case, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. And there's one last season review before we look forward to the new year. Up until then, bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you may enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the little bell icon so you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye!